and see what the, what the uh, situation was. And we'd like to uh, thank uh, uh, Dr. Haynes and her staff for the work that they've done to coordinate with the budget office in getting on keeping all these things together. And then there's been reductions in spending in all areas to the tune of about six million dollars. So it was a, it really had, it really had been a strong effort. As we look forward to 2011-2012, as we look at our uh, beginning, we're projecting now that we're going to start out with a beginning fund balance of about 121 million, which represents about 31 percent of our budget expenditures, which is great news because we're at least not starting in the hole, and we have that to work with. We're looking at uh, a slight increase in our in our ADA, our everyday attendance of uh, some almost 49,000. We're also looking at uh, a decline, though, in our weighted average day of attendance because of the uh, way the statutes changed and changed in the state law. We also got some good news from the uh, Lincoln County Credit Registry to show about 2.5% uh, growth in taxable values. And, and of course, our collection rate has always been We wanted to give you a uh, historical perspective on what the district's experience has been with uh, fund balance. If you look at the, uh, the dark blue, uh, I'm going to call it blue, and compare it to the green, the blue is what has been historically projected over the last five years by the staff, and the uh, green has been in all the numbers that you see. The district has a history a trend of projecting very conservatively both its revenues and projecting its expenditures so that that gap always exists and you'll always have confidence that the numbers that you actually see will slightly improve when, they, when we get to the auditor and that difference allows you to uh, uh, look forward with some degree of, of confidence that your numbers are pretty good. And we wanted to overlay that with the uh, uh, standard that you have of uh, 45 million and that the district has used as the standard for the fund balance uh, to keep and you see the comparison of that with where we are with the fund balance and how much over you have. The blue represents your, your amount that you have over what you set as a standard. All right, how, how do you come up with 45 million for the standard? That's been the amount that the district has used for some time. I will suggest a historical number. It's one policy. Okay. They asked us to do that. Uh, mm -hmm. The standards
been a one-time purchase of student software as we changed. Y'all may remember we had the uh, RFP back in the spring for that, and that's expected to be about six hundred thousand uh, in addition, which will be a one-time uh, cost. And we had some increases in transportation costs. Uh, we've got some increases budgeted for strategic design initiative, some salary compensation study, the Gallup Q12 employee engagement initiative, as well as some uh, miscellaneous increases of varying amounts, which add up to some 300,000 for a total increase uh, uh, in the budget of about three and a half million. So when we take the when we take the uh, uh, the uh, total difference, then we're looking at a total deficit for 11 and 12 uh, in the neighborhood of 17, uh, 17 million. So at that point, it's all the city? Yes, total deficit is about 17 and a half million. Which, which compared to where we thought we would be during the spring of the legislature, we think that's a, uh, a much better place to be. And our uh, other projections, based on standard, are going to be as much as more than that. And uh, uh, just to reiterate, uh, in for the 10 11 school year that we're about to end in this month, the end of this month, we're projecting now that we will not use any fund balance out of that. So I'll stop there. If you have any questions about that, I invite Teresa to uh, talk about the. Some of the more detailed. Yes, sir. I, I missed, you said there was going to be a $17.5 million deficit. So we would not have to use any of the fund balance? No, sir. It, in the, the budget year that we're just finishing up, right. the 2010 yeah. 2011 that finishes at the end of this month, we're projecting that we won't be using any fund yeah. balance about okay. that. For 11 12, we will be dipping into fund balance. Okay. But the good news is, that we're we're not going to be as far down and we're not going to be using as much fund balance as we thought back in the spring for 11 12 and because we're not starting in the hole the uh, ending the, the place will be when we end will be above we're still projecting it will be above 100 million in fund balance so dr Burnett, does that mean i'm trying to get the numbers tied to does that mean the 3.5 million in budget increases that totally will need to take from the fund now? No, no. no. It, it, that's just, we're just telling you that there were, even though we've had decreases in, in operations and de reduced staff, that we're still going to have some increases in some places. Okay. So yeah. The net cut was about 30 million. The 17 million cut, 3 million cut. <laughs> Which is above the target. Well, the, the board has the administration cut to the point. Well, yes, and moving on to Austin, they showed two different scenarios. One, our district would probably have to cut by 22 million. Another one, about 48 million. I'm sorry, I'm right. So, 17 million is pretty good. And when you <coughs> also factor in the expected to, we're facing having these fund balances just to balance last year. It's uh, uh, driven by a little of all those. Uh, Durham came back uh, and, and basically request that the district had made because there's some increased show, show costs. There's some increased special ed. It also includes the, the cost of summer, summer school and uh, it, it, those kinds of things and, and fuel costs as well. And additional routes. Uh, I think we've got, uh, there are at least seven new routes, uh, as I understand it, uh, going to uh, Arm, the Arm campus. So that, that's what I'm learning from the high school and middle school, right? Not a major portion of that, so. Right. Yeah, the new routes to that school, that would be the new seven routes, right? Yeah. 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 That's, what, that's, that's what I understand, yeah. Does that require any additional staff for that openness, or is that just shifting staff? I can't remember. We did not add any additional staff.
have a job and we use current positions, the only thing that might be a, a new position as far as taking something and changing this title was, for instance, there weren't enough registrars to support it or some of our nurses, so we shifted. Yeah, but I mean, as far as teachers and all that, we <coughs> good teachers where they were at either Kilo or LHS Main and shifted. Well, we did. We did have one principal. We had to add a principal. Every year we started out with a budget deficit, and we were able to absorb so much of it last year, as with actually all of it. If we use history as, a, as an indicator, what should we be able to absorb out of that? What at the end of the day, what what should we really do? What do we think? Uh, well, you're, you're right that we will always be working to try to uh, close the gap uh, as, as long as, as much as we can. I really, really can't answer that. But a lot, I mean, you know, we didn't know when, we didn't know if we were going to get the federal education jobs. Some of that was uh, a windfall. We, and we know that we historically increased by some of those other things. We, we have a pretty good idea that we will collect more taxes than what we budget for. We generally do. We don't know. We, we, you know. we can we can drill down and get a percentage of that and project it. Uh, but we we hope that we'll be able to close the gap in the summer. Invariably, we will have uh, resignations during the year of people that we either may not fill or we fill with either uh, people that don't cost as much or they we have a month or two to skip. Uh, and so there are any number of things that work to help close that gap. Some of those things you can get a historical perspective of and maybe predict a little bit. Some of them you can't. Good, good finance guy, this is the worst number you're going to show. We hope that. There it goes. We hope that. Did it impact the That's the federal budget.
would have a deficit of $3.8 million. And that would still leave us with $18.7 million at the end of the fiscal year to fund balance. If we dropped it to $0.37, cents, we would have a deficit of $4.9 million. And this is where this is the one change from what you were sent uh, earlier to what you have in front of you right now. Uh, the fund balance, beginning fund balance number on the prior schedule is really incorrect in this record number on sale. So our ending fund balance now is $17.5 million at 37 cents. So we're suggesting reducing that tax rate? Exactly. We would, we would uh, call your attention to the slide that, uh, that's in front of you. The, according to our historical records, the voters were told that the debt service rate for this year would be 39.76 cents. Your increase in your property values allows the opportunity, provides the opportunity to keep you to keep the same rate as you had last year, should should you choose with a very with a very minor uh, drawdown of your debt service. Or you could use more of your debt of your reserves, and you could lower the debt service rate even more. But we just add the caveat that if you do lower the debt service rate, you may want to make sure that if you do that, the message that you send is that it's temporary, because if we sell future bonds, that rate will go back up.
sell bonds, if, or if you authorize the sale of bonds, we'll call them and say in November. Then by the time you've got your, your sale and you actually got your, your funds, your amortization schedule will probably be set for the following year. So you, you, the tax rate will probably, the impact of the tax rate will probably be at least six months away, depending on the timing. It could be further away than that.
that you still help God along with some of this other modern demographics, for example, where we decide to go with the way of money as well as future follow up options. Um, so it will get the board and the community a good, good plan based on the assessment, a good moment to plan for guidance, not just making spur of the moment decisions.
cuts and certainly beginning with central administration, we've reduced the deficit for 2011-12. We've been able to preserve teachers in the classroom and maintain the fund balance that's projected to be above 100 million at the end of fiscal year 11-12, which is, uh, exceeds your three months operating expenses of 25 percent. And we have proactively positioned Louisville to manage the, 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 the coming budget year for 12-13, which we know will be another deficit, but we know that that funding is going to drop again. But we've at least positioned that to manage that budget process as well. But we think those are three good takeaways from uh, what, what we presented to you tonight. Good, good. I'm sorry I was a little late on you before we get through this. We have no problem yet. Class size increase or remission syndrome. There's some of them off. I'm going to correct me down there. Uh, nothing with Dr. Oh, Ed. They're, they're not. It's more of an across the board. I'm oh, reading it on the board. Well, and that was part of it. But, uh, they, you know, it's, 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 it takes a lot of bricks and wall to build a building. And uh, so, uh, um, percentage wise, as we put up there, We had 233 employees and we expended $2,258,257.90. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Yeah. Out of the three million. It's only about seven point two. Yeah. How many cents was in? Exactly. 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 Exactly.